If you've been watching my videos for a while now, you probably would know that owning a Chinese hamster has never been a possibility for me. Not because that I don't like the species, but because they just don't exist here. Until now. So I recently made this Linman enclosure and I had planned to put a dwarf hamster in it. So I've been looking on Kijiji, which is usually where I find a lot of my adoptable hamsters, but it hasn't had a lot lately. So I've been checking every couple of days to see if there were any new ads. And I came across an ad that said Chinese hamster and my jaw dropped because I've never physically seen a Chinese hamster in my life. I've been to every single pet store in my province and Chinese hamsters just, they have not existed. I don't know where they got him from, but as soon as I saw the ad, I had to jump on it and I had to adopt him. So I would like you all to meet Waddles, the Chinese hamster, or also known as the Chinese dwarf hamster. Fun fact, that is a super big debated thing. A lot of people will say that Chinese hamsters aren't dwarf hamsters, but actually scientifically, Chinese hamsters are the only domesticated species considered to be a dwarf. The dwarfs we know as dwarfs are scientifically considered to be called small desert hamsters. So Chinese hamsters technically are dwarfs. If you're wondering how his previous care was, it wasn't awful, but it also wasn't the best. He was in a bin cage, so it was bigger than a store-bought enclosure, which was good. He also was on some paper bedding, so that was good. And he had quite a few different like accessories and things. The diet that he was on wasn't the greatest. Chinese hamsters are prone to diabetes, so you do have to be conscious of what they're eating and be a little bit more careful than other species. And the wheel. They did include the wheel because they did say he really, really, really loved it. <sighs> and this was the wheel. This is one of those four inch wheels they sell for mice and robos. And I would not use this for either of those animals because it simply is too small. I don't know how he physically got his little long body on this and actually ran. Maybe he like could move in it a bit, but there would be a lot of arching of the back. The previous owners did say he was eight months of age and he does have very, very, very large testicles. That is just a trait that male Chinese hamsters have. They're not tumors, it's not his butt. They are balls and they are bigger than his head. The Chinese hamster has a very distinct look. They look very similar to a wild mouse. They have very long and slender bodies and their face and snout is a lot more pointier. They also do have the longest tail out of the five domesticated species and it is semi prehensile. So they are able to kind of cling and wrap it around objects. Obviously not the same ability as a rat or mouse, but Chinese hamsters are the best climbers out of the five domesticated species. And even then they are not amazing climbers. So you can't be putting ropes and things you would give rats and mice. You may notice um, the enclosure may look slightly different than when I set it up. Um, I did film that video and then I kind of didn't like how some of the things were, so I quickly moved things around. I also switched out the wheel. This one is the same size, it's just the acrylic cork and wood night angel wheel and its width isn't as wide, so it kind of frees up a little bit more space in the enclosure. And I think it has a little bit more grip because the inside is lined with cork. Now obviously Waddles is used to a wheel like this, so when he was on the Night Angel wheel, he definitely was a little bit confused. It is obviously a little bit harder to push, but the size for him is definitely good. And by the end of the night, he was fully running on it, and I think he was very grateful to not have his back bending on it. 
He definitely is still very, very shy. I'm not sure how often the previous owners held him or not. They did say he might nibble a bit. I did let him sniff me and he seems to be not terrified of humans, but not also very interested. So it is going to take some time to fully get him used to humans and offering treats and everything. And he is still new, so he is still settling into his enclosure. So I haven't started taming or bonding or anything because it is really important to just let a new animal get used to their surroundings because it can be super stressful when you're coming into a new place and you've never been and everything is different and nothing smells like it used to be. I definitely will try to film my taming and bonding process with him, but that won't happen for a while because it can take a while to bond and tame with a hamster. I hope you guys love Waddles as much as I do and I'm so excited to show him in future videos. Chinese hamsters definitely are on the lower popularity scale or just less common to find. I only know a few accounts who have ever owned or currently own Chinese hamsters. So I'm very excited to be able to learn with you guys more about Chinese hamsters and learn more about Waddles. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.